Okay, let's begin, let's begin. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. How are you? Hi, teacher. Thank you so much for being here, people. We have Marlene, also Jose Lino, uh, also Maria Santos, Janet, and also Giovanni. Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. We will have another class here on Zoom. And I hope that we can have a lot of time for you for uh, practice. Yes. Well, give me a minute while I get the presentation so we can start with this thing. This is going to be uh, section number four. What a story. We're going to have past perfect. Pre-advanced English module number one. This is class number 11. Yep, so thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate everything you do every single day. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so um, this is the topic for today. Uh, past perfect. That's the one we're going to work on today's class. Okay, I will take the attendance later on today. In the meantime, let's begin with some practice. Okay. Uh, okay, Oscar, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. Thank you, thank you. And welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Okay, uh, let's begin with this picture. Here we're going to have this conversation. That's terrible. That's the title of this conversation, as you may see. Um, and here we have a picture, okay? For that one, we're going to have, uh, let me see, this gentleman whose name is um, Roberto Eduardo. Please, Roberto, help me out. Describe what do you see here in this picture. Hey, how you doing, teacher? Uh, and that picture, uh, I see a, a bicycle, and I see a, a beautiful house. You know, um, I see a flowers, and let me see. And the street is. As a, it's a, it's a beautiful house. The the window is, I see inside. Maybe the house is is big. Um, I think that's all, teacher. Thank you. What's the number? The the number. Let me see. Twenty three, I think. Exactly. Uh, and where where is the bike? Is that inside the house or outside the house? It's outside the house. Yeah. Do you do you think that we can have bikes outside the house uh, here in El Salvador? Um, maybe, maybe. You know, it's probably in this time. Maybe you can have the your things outside, but uh, something happened. You know. So, <laughs> so make sure maybe put it inside, you know, it's going to be better, you know. So, but I think right now, for example, I, I put my motorcycle outside. I put my motorcycle front to my house and nothing happened, you know. Uh, but like uh, before, yeah, I, I, I put it inside, you know, because... The, they're gonna stall in my motorcycle so but yep um and in salvador uh if you want you can leave it or if you want you can put it inside i don't know okay. I, that's that's what i think yeah yeah uh yeah because nowadays i'm seeing uh, like sort of how um some people like driving i'm sorry riding bikes mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's somehow it's getting somehow popular, somehow not like 
like a lot, but yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, today I saw like like three bikes. Yeah, bikes, three people yeah. riding bikes. That's oh yeah, something. that's that, that that's right. You know, uh, I see a lot of people uh, from the weekends over mm -hmm. there in Multiplaza. Yes, and very early, you know, in the morning. That's I see right. a lot of bikers, you know, running from the Jerusalem, from the Jerusalem Street. Yes, that's or true. Avenue, I think. That's true. But for me, it's no, it's no safe to to do that. <laughs> you know, because <laughs> that is you, true. You just just think in the it's a weekend. A lot of people is drunk around the place, you know. Exactly. There is a lot of places, a lot of bars. They don't care. Uh, so, uh, Salvadorian people, uh, is, and that in the weekend, this another person I think uh, over there, you know. But no, not at all, you know. No, no, everything. No, no, everybody. I mean, exactly. That but is... but uh, some people. Uh, uh take the cars and uh drunk yeah. and that's that's later on they're gonna be in trouble you know with the with the police you know with yeah, the, or with, maybe with, they the, will, with the law exactly with the law or maybe they will they will hit somebody right and yeah then... and so yep that that's that's what I think, teacher. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, yes. like um it's quite dangerous sometimes because of these people that uh, when they drink alcohol, they they yeah. drive and at they, the end they don't care if they hit somebody, they just like hit it and live it. That's but, what they do. Uh, but over there in, in uh near to multiplaza, they make uh like a marathon. Uh, that's, uh, that's safer that's but, safer than yeah it looks nice you know you know <laughs> but, but like i tell you before i, I don't like to 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 make i don't want to be biker you know i mean biker with uh with a motorcycle you know oh yeah i understand thank you so much for sharing that that's very yes, that's very nice great job Yes, okay, so we're going to work with this conversation between Carol and Milo. The title of this one is That's Terrible. Yes. So that's terrible. Let's listen and read. Page 25, Exercise 7, Conversation. That's terrible. Part A, Listen and Practice. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend, and I had parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I'd forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report the theft to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listed it on that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt I'll ever get it back. Page 25. Exercise 7. Conversation. That's terrible. Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend, and I had parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I'd forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report the theft to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listed it on that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt I'll ever get it back. Thank you. 
Good evening, Sara. Hello, Sara. Welcome. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Ah, uh, that sounds good. Let me a favor. What is this conversation about? It's about that um uh, someone stole the cattle's cattle bicycle. Thank you so much, right? Yes, that is true, right? Well, pretty much that's the whole thing about. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna practice this conversation. I will open the breaker room so you can practice a little bit with your partners. Yes, don't forget that in here, uh, what I want you to do is listen the way your partners pronounce the different words, right? Um, so you can correct yourself, you know what I mean? Listen, and then you can um, change roles also. Yes, and do it as many times as possible if you have the chance. I'm gonna open the breaker rooms. Here in the main room, I will have some of you uh, and I will let you know the ones that will stay here. Uh, just do me a favor, I'm sorry, I forgot. Save the conversation. Okay, save the conversation so you can have it. I forgot. Uh, just give me a minute because it's, it's, it's like, yeah. So save the conversation. Um, and also, if you have the chance, send the conversation here in WhatsApp group. So in case one of your classmates doesn't have it, okay? So, um, yeah, you got it, Jenny? Wonderful, thank you so much. Okay, um, let me open the breaker rooms. I will open the breaker rooms with three in case somebody like is not allowed to like to participate. I think Oscar, he's uh, just um here like uh, listening in the class, so he's not allowed to speak. And I don't know if somebody else is having that kind of thing. Uh, yeah, okay. Jesus. Okay, give me a minute. Let me check the time. Yeah, here we go. Uh, Giovanni? Uh, actually, can you hear me well? I have trouble with my headphones. Nice and clear, nice and clear. Okay, wonderful, thank you. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so uh, in the main room, I will have three. I will have Jose Lino Alvarenga, Neftali Mejia, and Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. You three stay here in the main room. Yes, Jose Lino, Neftali Mejia, and Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. You three stay here in the main room. So when you get the message, don't join, right? Don't okay. do it. Okay, got it. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, the rest of you, please do me a favor and um, get with your partners, please, and practice conversation about this terrible thing that happened. Okay, there you have it. Thank you. Olga, Carla. Uh, oh, very good. Um, Marlene, Edgar, Wendy, Maria Santos. Uh, oh no, Lino, get back, get back, Lino, get back. Sorry, Lino went into the main room, in the, the into the breaker room. Okay, Maria Santos, please join. Wendy, join. Lino, you stay here, stay here in the main room. Okay, <laughs> very good. Okay, Wendy, no. Maria Santos, no. Okay, let me move this one to number three because I need a participation in, in, in room number two. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, so this is time for you to practice here in the uh, in this main room, okay? So Lino and Roberto, let's begin with the two of you. You uh, switch roles right, when you finish. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be Carol. Um, okay, okay, I'm gonna start. Uh, that's terrible. Guess what? 
someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was having lunch with a with a friend and I had packet on the street, just like I always do. When I come back, when I came back, someone had it stolen. I get I guess I didn't forget to look it up. That's terrible. Did you report the death to the police? Yes, I did. And also listen listen on the site for a stolen and lost bikes. And I I don't know. Teacher. Uh, you need to change change roles, please. Okay. Perfect. Can you can you move the presentation, please? Oh yeah, that's right. Can you move that little bit the presentation because uh I didn't see the the last part. Give me a minute. Please. Perfect. No problem. Give me a minute. Thank you. That's good. That's good. Okay. Let me see. Is this better? Uh, if you don't see it, let me know. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Wait, wait a minute so, so we can. That's better. Okay. Much better. <laughs> so okay. the, the last part is, but I, I, I do, I doubt I will get. No, I will ever get it back. Yeah. And now we're going to switch. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Lino, you you are Carol now. I don't like the, the name Carol. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, it's, for, it's for something, you know. Ah, you, you remember a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? Okay. Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh no, what's happening? Well, I was having lunch with a friend and I had parked it, it on the street just like I always do. When I come back, someone had stolen it I guess I for forgot it to lock to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report that tip to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listed it that site for stolen and lost bikes. But but I doubt I'll ever, ever get it back. Get it back. Thank you so much. Taff. Did you report the Taff? Taff. Taff. Exactly. Taff. Perfect. Oh, good. Taff. Neftali. Hello, Neftali. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Uh, what about you, Edgar? Can you participate, Edgar? Edgar, Maria Santos, Maria Santos, can you participate? No, Wendy, Wendy, no, okay, so Neftali and one, mm -hmm. one more time, Lino, please, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm Carol. Uh, guess what? Someone stole my new bag yesterday. Oh no, what's happening? Well, I was having a lunch with a friend and I had parked it into the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I get it forgotten to look in to look into. That's terrible. Did you report the tough to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listened into that site for stolen and, and lost bikes, but I doubt 
I ever get it back. Okay. Hi, Carl. I don't like. <laughs> you don't like the name. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what? Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend and I had parked it in the, on the street just like I always do. When I come back, someone had stolen it. Dead, stolen it. I guess I forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report that theft to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listed it on that site for stolen and lost bike. But I, but I doubt I'll ever get it back. Thank you so much. Very good. Just, just be careful with regular verse ending pronunciation. Parked. Okay. Just be careful with, with that one. Happened. Yes, okay. happened. Uh, let's, I'm going to play the audio one more time so you can um, take a look one more time at the pronunciation. And theft. Okay. Uh, it's raining, by the way. I love winter. I love winter. It's raining right now. So it's going to be a really good night. Okay. Let's listen and read. Page 25. Exercise 7. Conversation. That's terrible. Part A. Listen and practice. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend, and I had parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I'd forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report the theft to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listed it on that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt I'll ever get it back. I love the last phrase, but I doubt I'll ever get it back. It's like it's like here in El Salvador, right? When you lost something, forget about it, okay? You're not going to find it, okay? Thank you so much. Jenny, you're going to be Carol. And Carla, Selena, you are going to be Milo. And then you switch roles. Ready? Let's begin. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was having lunch with our friends. And I had parked it on the street. Just like I always do when I come back. Someone has stolen stolen it. I guess I forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report the death to the police? Yes, I did. And I solicited it on that side for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt I'll ever get it back. Change the role. Guess what? Someone stole my new bikes yesterday. Oh no. What happened? Well, I was having a lunch a lunch with a friend and I had a parking on the street. Just like I always do. When I combat someone I stole it, I guess I forgotten to the looking up. That's terrible. Did you report the to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listened on that side for stolen in lost bikes. But I do I'll never get it back. Very good. The two of you. Okay. Um well not like I didn't hear like a mistake on pronunciation, just a, a suggestion, right? When you when you reading because this is your reading, uh, try to make the passes, 
between the words. So, so you can pronounce this better, right? So guess what? Someone stole my new buy yesterday. So you see, made the passes each word so you can pronounce it better. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, well, I was having lunch with a friend and I have parted it on the street. So made the passes per each word a little bit, right? So, so you can pronounce it better. Yes. Very good. Great job. Marlene and Olga. Yes, uh, Marlene, you're going to be Carol, and Olga, you are Milo, and then you change roles. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend, and I had parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I'd forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report that theft to the, to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listened it on, listened it on that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt it. How do you pronounce that, teacher? But oh. I doubt, doubt. 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 Yep. But I doubt I'll ever get it back. Okay. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend and I have parked, parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I forgotten to lock it up. That's terrible. Did you report the thief to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listened on that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt I'll ever get it back. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Perfect. Thank you. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Hello, Blanca. Can you participate? Hello, hello. No, okay, we're gonna have Giovanni hello. and Sara. Hello. Oh, excuse me. Uh, no. Blanca, can you participate? Yes. Wonderful, you are Carol and Milo, that's you, Giovanni. Then you change roles, ready? Let's begin. Ready. Okay, guess what? Someone stole my new bag yesterday. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend and I had parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I'd forgotten that to look it up. That's terrible. Did you report it after the police? Yes, I did. And I also mm -hmm. listed it on that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I don't I ever get it back. Wonderful. We're going to switch, Lenka. Okay. Go ahead. Guess what? Someone stole my new bike yesterday. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was having lunch with a friend, and I had parked it on the street, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen it. I guess I'd forgotten to look it up. That's terrible. Did you report the thief to the police? Yes, I did. And I also listed it on the, that site for stolen and lost bikes. But I doubt my ever get it back. Thank you so much. That was perfect. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me see what time is it now so I can take the... Yes, I will take the attendance uh, really quick. So when you hear your names, say I'm here or present. Yes. Okay, man, I may know while I get it. As you may know, it's raining. That's good. That's good. Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Welcome. Uh, Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. No, he isn't. Okay. 
What about Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar? Welcome and good evening. <laughs> yeah, we're here. <laughs> yes, uh, thank you so much. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No, she isn't. She's is or... writing in the chat. Oh, okay. Let me check really quick. Give me a minute. Uh, okay, Michelle, thank you. Oh, Janet, okay, I got you. Thank you so much for letting me know. Perfect. I got you here. Thank you. Uh, Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Thank you, Lino. Welcome. Uh, Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Hello, Karen. Are you here? Uh, no, right. I don't see her here. Okay. I hope she's I hope she's safe and better now. I'm better because cause I don't know. Okay, uh let me check really quick. Um Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzman. No, she isn't. Okay, okay. Let's carry on with Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Nice to have you. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. It's nice to have you. Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Present, teacher. Thank you and welcome. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Okay, Michelle, thank you so much. Okay. Uh, she I... wrote in the chat too. <laughs> thank you, Giovanni. 20. Thank you for letting me know that. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present to church. Gentlemen, good evening. Nice to have you. Um, Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome. Oscar Alexander. Santana Present Reyes. teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you one more time. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla Garcia. Hello, Present Robert. teacher. Thank you Present so much. Teacher. It's nice to have you again. Sara thank you, thank you. Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Thank you so much and welcome. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Hello, Wendy. Oh, okay, Wendy. Thank you so much. I got it. Thank you so much for letting me know. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate your effort. Let's carry on with the material we have today. Uh, okay, thank you. So we're going to move on to the next video that is brought by somebody who's explaining the grammar content for today. Let's listen, watch, and take notes. Page. Sorry, I forgot. We have the part B of this conversation. So we have the question. What did Milo have stole once? Oh, look at this one. And where was he? What did Milo have stolen once? And where was he? Oh, I love this one. Let's listen and answer. Page 24, exercise five, listening. Crazy but true, part B. Listen again, take notes on each story. One. A teenager's soccer game in Australia took an unexpected turn on Saturday when an escaped bull decided to join the game. The players were running toward the goal when the bull charged the field. It began chasing the 14-year-old boy who had the ball. Luckily, the boy was fast and managed to get out of the way. Apparently bored with the soccer game, the bull left the field as suddenly as it had entered it leaving players and viewers shocked at what they had just witnessed. 2. A 19-year-old by the name of Matt is... Page 20. My bad. I don't have... It's the wrong audio. 
it's the run audio. So I'm gonna move on to something else, which is this video. Okay, so I apologize because I got the run audio. Okay, uh, we're gonna move on to this video, which is about the press. Perfect. Let's listen, watch, and take notes. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I would like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I, I gave to you in uh, just a couple of seconds ago, um, I let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but uh, when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occur in the past. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to express. I went to a party last week. This is what took place last weekend. So that is that X, if you will. All right. But when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and highlight that in a different color. Um, my friends had eaten all the food. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party and when I got there, there was food at the party and then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that. And that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm going to continue to uh, give more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. As you can see, the examples on the chart um, refer to uh, basically it's a it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker and therefore this is what took place right as we'll analyze the examples that are there I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker all right wait let, let's stop there for a second I was working out is the past event that's that X if you will what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event and I have put my stuff in my locker so th that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event so it's that little blue circle that you see there when I came back that's that event there that's the uh, past event okay someone had stolen my wallet so um, I came back but before this event someone had stolen my wallet all right they were able to steal it that's the past event so that's that x if you will because i had forgotten to lock the locker all right now that is the past perfect event as you can see there let me just give one last example here i didn't have any money because i had forgotten my wallet at home so what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money so I'm talking about two events from the past one is that I didn't have any money that's that X that you see there All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in uh, uh, let me go ahead and highlight that in a greenish color second All right. and um, before this, I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home, and that's the reason why I didn't have any money, right? So as you can see, both events are um, are related.
Okay, so this is the past perfect. Let's listen to the examples. Page 25, exercise eight, grammar focus. Past perfect. Use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event in the past. Past event. Past perfect event. I was having lunch with a friend, and I had parked my bike on the street. When I came back, someone had stolen it. They were able to steal it because I had forgotten to lock it up. Thank you. So the main purpose of this past perfect is to talk about the past. Yes. And when we have two events in the past, right, that are related, we can use the past perfect to talk about these ones. Okay. Uh, usually the past uh, perfect is the earlier event that happened. Okay. Um, like use the past perfect to show that one past action happened for another past action. So for example, uh, I was able to pay for lunch because I have left my, oh, I wasn't, I'm sorry. Because I had left my wallet at work. Yes. So this is pretty much the idea, right? To communicate two events in the past, and we are going to use the past perfect event, I mean, tense, to communicate the earlier event. Yes? We're gonna use the past perfect to communicate the earlier event. Yes, Jenny? Do you have a question about this? No? Everything is clear, Selena? Everything is clear, Selena? Yes. Okay, perfect, wonderful. If you have questions, let me know anytime. Page 25. We're gonna work with these sentences. Combine two ideas into one past event and a past perfect event. Use when or because when it's needed. Right, so when we need because or when, we can use that one. Like the example in number one. The museum closed. A theft stole a famous painting earlier. The museum closed because a theft had stolen a famous painting earlier. And in here is the thing that I was talking about. We're going to use the past perfect to talk about the earlier event. Yes. So here we have earlier, right? Just to communicate that before this one, yes, <laughs> someone had stolen a famous paint, right? Because before they close, someone did this terrible thing. We're going to have number two. Volunteers with number two, please. Volunteers with number two? When? Oh, that's very good. When? Yes, let me, let me, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, when, what is next? We use when, yes or no? Or just we at the beginning? We. Oh, yes, we. We. Okay. We. We finished. Okay. It's like past perfect or simple past? Simple past. Okay. What is the thing that we did before? And what is the thing that happened after? Which one is that goes with past perfect and which one goes with past simple? So if you say, we finished cleaning the house. So this thing happens 
before or after. I mean, everything is in the past, right? But the idea is to identify, oh, this event happened before. And then after the event, something else happened. So, um, so I think it's when? Before. As far as before. Exactly, exactly. So if that is before, which one do I need to use? The past simple or the uh, past perfect? I guess past perfect. Exactly, exactly, right? If the event passed before, we need to use the past perfect. So I need to say, had finished, okay? Like finish. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we had finished cleaning, right? Very good. The house, okay. What is next? Oh, beautiful. When? When? Then? No, because we have when already. So to join the two sentences, we are using when. Okay, Marlene? Uh -huh. What's when? next? What's next? Our. Oh. Our, oh, very good. Our, what is next? When our guests arrive. Okay. Guests, very good. Guest arrived. Okay. Thank you. So there I have it. Yes. First, I need to identify what is the event that is in the part in the past that is earlier than the other one, yes? So when the event is earlier than the other one, I need to figure it out that that is past, perfect. And then I have an event in past. So we had finished cleaning the house when our guests arrived, yeah? Thank you, Sarah, number three, Sarah. Thank you, that's very good. Remember, don't worry if you do mistakes. Uh, someone had rowed. Okay. Can you okay. hear me? Nice and clear. Okay. Someone. Someone like you. Okay. Rob. Uh huh. Someone. No, it's someone had rowed. Okay. I let, think. Me, let me check. First of all, Sarah, we need to identify the events. Something that happened earlier and then something that goes after that. Somewhere around my house yesterday. <laughs> okay, I left the window open. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first one, the first one is this event here. Someone drove my house yesterday. And then I have another event, the number two, I left the window open. So which event goes earlier? The first sentence or the second one, Sara? I left the windows open. The, the second one. Exactly. So the second one is with past perfect or with simple past, Sara? Past perfect. Oh, that's why. Right. So the first one goes with? That can be, uh, I had left the window open. Oh yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Very good. So what is the first sentence, Sarah? Someone. Someone rode my Rob. house my yesterday. House. Oh, geez. Okay, my house yesterday, yesterday from the Beatles. Yes, that was a good one. Okay, give me a minute. Uh, someone bought my house yesterday. Okay. Because I had left the window open. Okie dokie, you got it. There you go. Because. Let me check because, because I don't remember how to. Oh, yes, very good. <laughs> because I had 
left the window open, okay? Yes, I have a problem with tiny vocabulary. So sometimes I get like the wrong spelling. Okay, someone robbed my house yesterday because I had left the window open. Oh, yes, very good, Sarah. Great job. Selena, good evening. How are you? You good? I'm fine. Awesome, great. You ready with number four, please? Okay. There was not food in the house. Okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. Sorry, so I can get it. Before I forget the thing you were saying. There was no food, right? You told me. There's no food in the house. In the house. Mm -hmm. In the house. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because, no, when, when, sorry. When? There was no, oh, jeez. There was no food in the house. Okay. Wait. When or because? Because. Yes, because. that is right. Because. 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 Huh? We for, we have. Oh, very good. We have for, forgotten. Beautiful. Or garden. The stop of the supermarket. Yep. You got it. Yes. Oh. Yep. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh -huh. That's the letter E. There was uh, no food in Oh, that. yeah. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> that is perfect. Thank you so much. Okay. Stop. That's good. Uh, because we had Stop forgotten. Two. Yep. Oh, Stop. oh do, yeah. Letter A. Yeah. At the supermarket. I think that's that's right. Yeah. Very good. You did it. Oh, that's good. Thank you. Jenny. Number five, Jenny, please. Help us. Oh. I call it. Excuse me? I call it. Okay, so the first one is pass. Simple pass. Yes? I was call it. Okay. Okay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Uh, I was called. Like this one? I had. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Here is raining. Hi. That's okay. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. Okay. I had call. Lair, you told me right. I have caller. Her three times. Okay, three times. That's good. Three times. When? Okay. Beautiful. I uh, she finally. Okay. Yes, she finally. Answer it. Answer. What is Very good. Answer. 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 Yes. Thanks, teacher. Perfect. Yeah, you nailed it. You see? Yes. I had called her three times when she finally answered, right? This is like <laughs> if you call your husband, right? Or your wife. Yes. So yeah, calling and calling and calling, right? And then you're wondering, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yes, so uh yeah, thank you so much. And the last one is gonna be for you, Jose Lino. Number six, please. I what is the mean of me? Excuse me, this one? No? Si. no. It's the past tense of the verb no. No. Yes. Uh -huh. So this is the past. The past, right? Yes. yes. No is the present, so 
I knew about the problem. Your brother told me about it. I had knew about the problem. Okay. So the first sentence uh, is going to be with simple past. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. Okay. So I knew, I'm sorry, about the problem. The problem. Okay. Oh, give me a break. About the problem. Huh? What is it? Because or when? Which way do you think is? Because or when? Because. Okay. Because? Your brother told me about it. Your brother had told uh, me about, about it, right? Yes, about it. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, let me let me make it bigger so you can see it better. Okay. So I know but I know about the problem because your brother had told me about it. What do you think about this one, Marlene? Is it right or is is it is it like wrong? Um I'm not sure, but I think that uh, had is missing. I have knew. Mm -hmm. I knew about the problem because your brother had told me about it. What do you think? Is right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Olga, what do you think? Number six is right or wrong? Right. That is absolutely right. That is correct, Lino. Perfect. Very good. Yes. So the key here, people, is to identify like what is the earlier situation that happened in the past, right? Is a situation happened in the past earlier because everything happened in the past, right? But you need to pick up one of the two and you can identify, oh, this one happened earlier and then the other one. So the earlier one goes with past perfect. And the other event goes with um, the simple past. Okay. It's going to somehow difficult because the past perfect, as you know, we have this had, and then we have this form, okay, which is if the, um, the past participle, right, form of the verse. So that's, that's on how the challenge. If you know here, we have forgotten. Forgotten, right? We have forgotten. So forgotten is, as you may know, the past participle form of the verb. So we have forget, forgot, forgotten. So the third the third road is the one we are going to use with past. Uh, past perfect. Yeah. Uh, it is on how difficult. It is on how difficult, but in this one, they give us like a, a hint right so you can say oh this event goes earlier so i'm going to use past perfect and then the other one is going to be related to past tense so my recommendation and my suggestion is practice yes think about events in the past so then you can um so you can uh, figure it out for example let me see let me see if we have the time I hope that we can have the chance to explain you this here. Let me write one example. Okay, I have a scenario. Okay, this is my time, 12. Okay, um, and then the other one is one. Yes, so that's my time. So here I have one time and something happened here. Yes, so I was having lunch, let's say. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I was having lunch. Oh, come on. Give me a break. I was having lunch with a friend. Okay. I was having lunch with a friend. So the event, this one is between 12 and 1. So this is one event. So then I can have another time here. Okay. 
let me write it like, um, let's say 11.45, let's say, right? 11, that's earlier. So this is 12 and 11.45 is earlier, right? Um, so in this event that is also in the past, I'm going to use this thing that is called past perfect, okay? Yeah, so in here, I need to use this one. The two events are in the past. And what I can say is like, I had parked, let's say, yes. So I have parked my car, let's say, yeah. So these two events, we have two events in the past and this one is earlier. So I'm gonna use the past perfect with the event that goes earlier. Okay. Yep. Um. Just don't forget the past participle verse. That's a headache. That's a pain in the neck. Because sometimes we forget. Yes. The only ones that I I can remember are the ones that in past. But then when we get past participle, that's the tricky part. Okay. So, um. I hope you have a you have a you you get a really like a lot of rest, right? And I hope that. Everything goes well. Go to bed, be nice and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Great job. Thank you.